Welcome to Medical Health. Today the topic is Blood Supply of the Spinal Cord. So guys, please subscribe my channel first. Firstly, we should remember that nervous tissue can tolerate less than equals to 3 minutes anoxia. So it is very delicate. And the blood supply to nervous tissue per unit is maximum in the body. The spinal cord receives blood supply from three main longitudinal arterial channels that extend along the length of the cord. The anterior spinal artery and both posterior spinal arteries originate from the vertebral artery. The anterior spinal artery is present in relation to the anterior median sulcus and two posterior spinal arteries one on each side run along the posterior lateral sulcus. Here is the diagram of spinal cord which is receiving blood supply from various blood vessels. In the previous slide we studied that the spinal cord receives its blood supply from three main longitudinal arterial channels that extend along the length of the cord. So in this diagram I'm showing to you that this is the anterior median sulcus from where the anterior median spinal artery run through the sulcus. Posterior part of the spinal cord there is posterior lateral sulcus this diagram here this is the posterior lateral sulcus and the other side there is also the posterior lateral sulcus here by this sulcus two posterior spinal arteries run along in addition to these three channels biomatter covering the spinal cord has an arterial plexus called the arteries vasocorona the blood supply from the vertebral arteries reaches only up to the cervical segments of the cord the spinal arteries also receive blood through radicular nerve arteries that reach the cord along the roots of the spinal nerves this radicular arteries arise from spinal branches of the vertebral, ascending cervical, deep cervical, intercostal, lumbar, and sacral arteries. Artery radicularis magna, also known as artery of the aramcus, may be responsible for supplying blood to as much as the low two-third of the spinal cord. Right here in the diagram, you can see Vertebral arteries originate from subclavian artery and it goes to the cranial cavity by passing through transverse foramen of cervical vertebra. This is the transverse foramen of cervical vertebra and it start from C6 to C1 and before formation of basilar artery, this is the basilar artery. The vertebral arteries gives branches for anterior spinal artery which is one in number and two posterior spinal artery which is run along the posterior lateral sulcus of the spinal cord. Venous drainage of the spinal cord, six longitudinal channels, anteromedian and posterior median channels that lie in the midline, also anterolateral and posterolateral channels that are paired. These channels are interconnected by a plexus or veins that form venous vesicorona. The blood from these veins is drained by radicular veins that open into a venous plexus lying between the dura and the vertebral canal and through it into various segments to a vein. The blood from these veins is drained by radicular veins that open into venous plexus lying between the dura and the vertebral canal and through it into various segmental veins.